our earlier video we have discussed about the photosynthesis process what are the components are required and all what are the components required carbon dioxide water and uh, chlorophyll in presence of sunlight then in this process uh, through that process uh, plants will produce glucose molecule and oxygen is evolved along, along with that water also which gas is evolved in this photosynthesis process oxygen so today in this uh, today we in this class we will discuss about that ox whether oxygen is evolved or not during photosynthesis process for that we have to do one experiment now what's our topic oxygen is evolved oxygen is evolved released during which process photosynthesis process photo synthesis for that we know that one equation which is proposed by b b van ney 6co2 plus 12h2o gives in presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll because chlorophyll only can absorb capture sunlight light energy then in this process plant green color leaves will produce glucose glucose it is a it is an organic molecule and c6 what is the formula of glucose c6 h12o6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. This glucose after that it will be turned into starch, stored food. When the, uh, plant, uh, when the plant will use glucose for getting energy, remaining glucose will be there, right? That glucose will be stored in the form of starch, stored food. Which gas is evolved? Oxygen. Today for that whether oxygen is evolved or not during photosynthesis process. We will do an experiment. For that required materials for that experiment require materials. What are the materials required? For that we need a beaker. You know, you know that right? Beaker means glass beaker which is transparent next test tube test tube this is also glass test tube with a long end narrow tube this is test tube and funnel funnel means for filtering we use to use right this is funnel Fun funnel has one side broad face and narrow stem like narrow tube like structure is another side funnel has two sides one is broad side and the one is narrow tube side this is funnel and Water plants, aquatic plants. Aquatic plants means which will go in the water. Aquatic plants submerged. Submerged plants. Example for this Hydrilla. We are taking Hydrilla plant. Did you see hydrilla? Hydrilla is like this. This is the stem. Multiple leaves are located at node. Like this. This is hydrilla. 
we can take any aquatic plant for this experiment but we are taking here hydrilla now we have to do the experiment what is the procedure for that by doing experiment only we can understand that everything here take a beaker first Take a funnel. This is funnel. In this, we need to keep hydrilla plants. Make it a bunch of hydrilla plants and keep it inside the funnel. Towards which side? Funnel has broad side and narrow side. Means Broad side, we need to keep the leaves and stems towards the tube. Narrow side means make it a bunch of hydrilla plants. Those hydrilla plants we need to keep in the funnel towards the broad mouth side. Another side will be narrow. Funnel has two sides. Like this we need to place hydrilla plants. Hydrilla plants means aquatic plants which will grow in the water. Multiple of leaves are located at node of a stem like this. All the stems are Located towards the narrow tube side. This is funnel to keep. Then take a test tube. This we have to fill with water. Then this test tube need to insert on this. No, before that, this entire funnel along with hydrilla plant, we should keep in a beaker. In a beaker. Like this. Then take a test tube. This test tube we need to fill with water. The filled test tube insert on this funnel narrow stem side. Like this. Insert the test tube on this funnel like this when you are inserting the water will fall little remaining water column will be there in this test tube only see like this after that we need to fill this beaker with water with water like this. We have to arrange all these materials like this only. What are the materials required for this experiment? Beaker, test tube, funnel, and which plants? Aquatic plants. Any aquatic plants we can take for this experiment. Aquatic means which can grow in the water. Funnel has two sides. Broad side, narrow side. Test tube means little long made up of glass. Beaker also glass beaker we are taking which is transparent. Here procedure how to arrange all these 
materials. First, we have to take a funnel and keep the hydrilla plants bunch. Make the hydrilla plants like a bunch and keep towards the broad side of the funnel. And that funnel need to keep, need to place in the beaker. Take a test tube and fill with water. That test tube we need to insert on this funnel gently. Have to while take inserting, we have to cover uh, cover the test tube with your thumb. Gently already we have inserted. That time little little bit of water will be um, releasing into this beaker. Remaining water will be there in this test tube like this water column. After that, entire experiment we need to keep under sunlight. Under sunlight. Where should we keep? Under sunlight. How many hours we need to keep on this experiment? 3 to 4 hours. It depends upon the intensity of the sunlight. If the sunlight is more, 4 hours it is sufficient. While keeping, um, when after 2-3 hours, if you will observe this experiment, we can observe like this, water bubbles are moving towards the test tube like this. We don't know which bubbles, which gas is there inside because after that only we, uh, we uh, will come to know that which gas is released by this hydrilla plant. We can observe only water bubble. After 3-4 hours, then we have to take out the test tube from the funnel. Have to take out the test tube from the funnel here. That time immediately close the test tube with your thumb because some gas is released into the test tube. We have to test that gas, which gas it is. Until then, until that we have to cover this test tube with your thumb like this. Then flame um, match stick. Flame the match stick and insert inside like this. This match stick insert inside. Then immediately those few uh, those fumes will burn burst into flames this gas made that uh, match stick into in this whenever you are inserting this match stick immediately we, we can observe that flames burst into flame which gas is useful for burning which gas uh, can stop the flames we, uh, we know that oxygen uh, can oxygen will be useful to burn the flames. Carbon dioxide will stop the flames. Means which gas which gas is it might be here oxygen gas. Which gas is there inside the test tube? Oxygen. Means from this hydrilla plants, whenever we have kept entire experiment under the sunlight for 3 to 4 hours that time these hydrilla plants they will perform photosynthesis process for that from that process uh, those bubbles are released into test tube take out the test tube and close it immediately with your thumb then insert a match stick flame match stick then you can observe that those fumes will burst, burn into flames, burst into flames. 
because during this process we have to cover properly the test tube we have to cover before inserting the max tube these are the precautions so oxygen is evolved or not in this experiment as oxygen is evolved during which process photosynthesis process means here hydrilla plant is getting four components one is water second one carbon dioxide it is there in the water only carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere at the same time water also can dissolve carbon dioxide in this water carbon dioxide is there in the dissolved condition carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll chlorophyll is present in the hydrilla plants only with you uh, by using all these four components these hydrilla plants will perform photosynthesis and release oxygen water and glucose molecule which is there inside the plant in those leaves this is the experiment which shows oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis process what are the materials required beaker test tube funnel aquatic plants take a funnel and keep the hydrilla plants towards the broad side of the funnel and keep the funnel in the beaker and take a test tube and fill with water the test tube we need to insert on the funnel we are uh, uh, funnel means narrow side narrow side of the funnel have to insert on that then fill the beaker with water this entire experiment we need to keep under the sunlight for 3 to 4 hours then take out the test tube and immediately close it with the watam because why when we are keeping that uh, experiment for 3 hours that time we can observe that bubbles which are moving towards the test tube open space so we have to close the test tube whenever you are taking out close it until insert the match stick whenever you are inserting the match stick flame that time these gas will burst into few uh, flames so this is it resembles oxygen is present present inside the test tube means oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis process same experiment we can do under the shade without sunlight covered with uh, black paper or any cloth means there is no way to focus sunlight on this experiment then uh, we have to do after 3 4 hours under the shade we have to keep it cover it with black paper or cloth then after 3 to 4 hours same we have to test in uh, take out the test tube and keep the uh, match stick same match stick then we will not get this type of flames means oxygen is not evolved because there is no way to perform photosynthesis without sunlight so by this experiment oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis process thank you